um, yeah, it's a Monday uh, upload. I'm sorry. I was trying to figure out what to review, and uh, I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what to review still. So here is another custom, but also slash kit bash um, things I've done or fix ups. I don't know whatever you want to call it. And uh, as you can tell, uh, there's like two kit bashes, and then mainly customs. All right, so. What should I get out the way? I guess Star Lord over here. So I didn't initially have this figure before. So I saw Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Fantastic movie. Uh, it will probably make you cry. I almost cried like five times, but I'm not a big crier. So that's actually a big deal. Also, if you're wondering what happened to my hand, uh, customizing gets you cut. But, anyways, so I decided to order this figure. Because I, I, I bought the Guardians of the Galaxy 3 figures. Not all of them yet. I got Drax. I got... How am I going to forget his name? Fuck. Well, Star-Lord. I have to call him Star-Lord now. Because I can't remember... Is it Clint? I'm not going to guess it. Star-Lord over here. And then Adam Warlock. I got those three. I'm trying to get the rest. But I got to save my money. So yeah and then i just got this figure like a couple days later and then it, it arrived i took the head off popped this head on it and there we go we got star lord but speaking of this body and the other head and here it is the other head and i just turned this into a homeless man if you find this offensive i'm sorry but like come on we have to have represent rep representation of homelessness because it is a big issue in life and i'm not saying we need figures but like i mean yeah we don't need figures that's just fucked up but like you know i kind of want to be i don't know i'm not big on representation things but i just did this you know added some brown paint um washed his hair to it you know gave him the raven stereo hoodie see has a raven stereo but you can't tell from the front putting them on the old man hot guy body and now those heads are pretty much useless to me and uh yeah we have a homeless man again it just offends you i'm sorry i i don't know why i did this it's not because i'm making fun of homeless people it's just because you know i just did it because i didn't like this head it looks nothing like how am i going to forget mario's name chris pratt is not like it doesn't look like chris pratt it looks nothing like chris pratt I didn't know what else to do with this, so I just made a homeless man. Uh, no hatred or anything towards him. I just did it just... I, I don't know why. I guess to use Spider-Man. Well, not that version of Spider-Man. But for Spider-Man to, you know, walk by, see it, maybe help, help him. I don't know. I'm Right now, he's just been sitting in my closet. Uh, maybe I'll do something with him. I'm not sure yet. Into the corner he goes. This isn't a custom or anything. This is the Ben Bandai. The, the five inch figures. So if you looked at it originally, um, a photo will pop up right here. I hope. You know, I hope it just stays right here. I don't know. I'm going to edit this later. So as you can tell, it, it's brighter right here. This thing was brighter than before. So I just added some black paint wash and, you know, give it that, let that detail shine, you know, come out. I want to do this for the head too, but I don't know what to use. But overall, yeah, um, it's darker. It, you know, detail really does pop out. It looks a little bit better. I'm kind of new to painting figures, so me customizing is a really random thing. Uh, I don't do this all the time, so uh, yeah. Put them right there. Punisher, the continuation of the Netflix Punisher. When am I going to review this figure? Now. Okay, now I'm just playing. Well, yeah, actually, yet yeah, now. So this Punisher has a diaphragm joint. You know, goes, crunches this far forward, this far back. You know, all that jazz. But, accessories. He was really lacking accessories. Hold up, let me get some things real quick. Sorry about that. So he's really lacking accessories. As you can tell, he had this gun, this, this, and, you know another pistol 
and as you can tell I have added things to him but not only does he have those he also has fists now these were painted when I went to school I'm pretty sure I showed you this but yeah now he has fists he has a trench coat I ordered off of Amazon and he has new arms uh, I haven't shared this yet but he has new arms now before he had like single joint arms okay maybe I'll just take the jacket off or at least part of this jacket hold on give me a second so I don't know if you can tell he's using the Shang-Chi arms originally oh yeah he has a knife holster now but anyways I think before he was using the Thor arms but I also I thought those were a little bit too big for John Bernthal so and also these are double jointed and they also have flesh stone so I didn't have to paint the sleeves right here to give him that look so now I can have him have his uh, rolled up sleeve look in some sort of type of way other people use like the what's his name uh, I forgot what his name was uh, the, the villain from Claw used the Claw arms or the J. Jonah Jameson arms I use these because I personally don't like single jointed elbows that much though yes I have that figure I don't like it on that figure either I just bought it because it looked nice but anyways so as you can tell the, just the detail still there on the Shang-Chi arms so if you want to get sandpaper sand that down and then, you know get, sculpt some sleeves on it to match this right here go ahead and do that I didn't do that because I mainly were was going to keep the jacket on but I also do, do take this jacket off every now and then if I want to take photos of the Punisher I mean I, I will keep it on at times and no this isn't wired sadly but if you still want this coat uh, just just look it up on Amazon just look up a uh, trench coat it'll look gray in the photo but it's just, like really black but yeah this is not hard to find there's no wire there's only wire right here it claims to be wired but don't be fooled it's just right here I don't know why that is but anyway yeah I just use the Shang-Chi arms uh, it's pretty easy to put on, you know, and you're probably questioning what happened to his original arms Well, they are on another figure custom figure that I already did so go ahead and watch the other video But uh, yeah, I think it looks nice I mean, it's not too distracting to for me personally if it's distracting to you how these two don't match I'm sorry. I'm I, this was before I started sculpting and you know, I wasn't really working hard on the figures I just wanted to get a better representation of the figures but yeah I think I did an okay job if you want to see how it looks with just you know shirtless also I did not sand these down I actually cut the joint luckily I didn't mess up so there's not too much paint rub sometimes there is but uh, yeah so, so for me I don't have sandpaper so I just cut the joints and it works out pretty good until we get to this figure but yeah so no paint rub whatsoever I don't have to worry about that so yeah so this is how he looks like without the trench coat I think I did an okay job I don't know I think it's alright but anyways uh, let's see if I can get him to hold this Hold up, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me even longer. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know how to make a person hold a trench coat. Because I don't have a trench coat. There we go. Good enough. But, uh, yeah, I think I did an okay job with, with this. So, if you want a better alternative than the, you know, claw uh, effect. Or, you know, kit bash. Get the Shang-Chi figure. 
I think it's like $23 right now on Amazon. I don't know. I haven't checked it in a while. Maybe it's gone up. When I originally ordered that Shang-Chi figure, it was before I had the the SA Triggers one. It was like 20 bucks, and I was like, okay, I'm going to get it. Because I like the Shang-Chi movie, and I bought the figure. Then I bought the SA Triggers one. Yes, it's short and doesn't fit in with scale, but I don't care. It's a good figure, and I was like, okay, I don't need the Shang-Chi no more. So I'm just, I just got the arms. Also, yes, I, you have to paint flesh tone if you want to kind of match this. It still doesn't match it all the way. But, you know, also the fists are from Icarus. But you also have to cut the joint uh, right here. As you can tell, I kind of messed it up a bit. But that's for it to not, you know, spread the, the hole. That sounds so wrong. But you get the point. So it doesn't really mess with this because this is an old Marvel Legends figure. So it has that old type thing. But overall, yeah, this is how the figure looks. Kit patch, whatever you want, want to call it. Also, these this is from the X-Force Deadpool, which as you can tell, I absolutely destroyed. And this is from the... I don't know, from G.I. Joe figure. But uh, yeah, that's it for Punisher. That was really long though. That's probably not gonna fit. Spider Man, why is he back? Custom head. This is the Vulcan head with uh, sculpted beard on. This is my first attempt at making a beard. I think I did an okay job. I don't know. You go ahead and rate it. And this is just supposed to be Peter Parker with the beard. Nothing special, nothing specific. And yes, I painted the eyes. Uh, please rate them. I'm not a customizer, guys, so I'm trying my best to do these things. You know, you know this is just a custom beard, you know, made out of Play-Doh. Yes, I use Play-Doh. Uh, I'm going to warn you right now. If you're going to use Play-Doh to sculpt and you're using white, please cover it up with black first. Because, oh my god, this figure is an absolute nightmare. I'm not done with it, as you can tell. But Jesus Christ, it is... When it comes to paint, it's terrible. Cover whenever you're sculpt if you're sculpting with Play-Doh because you can't afford real clay like me, or you know you don't know what the fuck people use, and you're using like a bright color and you're using white. Cover it up with black first. Just do that. It makes it so much easier because the Play-Doh bleeds into the white. I've been working on this figure for so long. Okay, not that long. I mean, most customizers gonna get done in a day, but. I'm new to this, but anyways, look, <laughs> cover up with black first and then paint it white. Okay. Not the whole figure. You don't have to do that. But yeah, anyways, back to this. This was Play-Doh, uh, light blue. Cause that's all I have. Uh, I don't know why I have that. And you know, it was just a Vulcan head. And I think I did okay job. You no. Know? So now I have two custom heads of Peter Parker. An older version, which is more angrier, and a younger version with glasses. Which one looks better? Probably this one, since this is already sculpted really well, and from Asbro. And this is a bootleg head. But if you do prefer this look, um, okay, cool. I don't know why. I had to fix this guy up again, because paint rub happened. Because of those glasses. And if you're wondering, oh, how did you make those glasses? Out of bendy wire, which took forever, and then painted black, and paint still chips off. And you don't want to know how many tries I attempted to sculpt the beard on. I had like three different prototypes and then they just fell off and I was like, fuck. Also, if you're sculpting with Play-Doh, use super glue. Okay, use super glue. That's the best thing to do since, you know, Play-Doh does not stick to surfaces all the time. You know, I was going to say, unless, you know, you're that, but not all that Play-Doh stayed on. But yeah, you know, bearded Peter Parker for symbiote suit and symbiote suit only. Now this figure, this is a custom Moon Knight. Yes, he doesn't have a hood. Yes, I would rather him have a hood, but uh, I don't have an extra hood. I tried the Hobgoblin one and it's a tight fit. And, you know, he also has the the back 
here, kind of like this. Um, yeah, I'm just using this for like a cape for now because he looks really weird without the cape, especially since it's Moon Knight. So this looks way better right now. For now, obviously this is the Doctor Strange cape. I'm not, this is not going to be for Moon Knight at all. But let me take this off real quick. Put that right there. And let's check out this Moon Knight. As you can tell, I am sculpting everything for this figure. I'm trying my best. You know, this is my first time actually making a figure from hand. And, you know... I've looked at so many videos and some of them are kind of useless. They say sand the joints down. I don't have sandpaper. I know sandpaper is kind of cheap at times. I've cut the joint and still paint rub thing happens. I'm trying my best. No, again, paint rub still fucking happens. It still fucking happens. And it's just really a hassle, but I'm not going to quit because I really do want a Moon Knight figure, but I want a good Moon Knight figure. And granted, the Vulcan body isn't the best option, but it's the only figure that is broken and that I can reuse. And I mean, come on, would you rather me use the Bucky Cat mode, the X-Force Deadpool one? And yes, I took his head, put it on here, painted it white and painted, painted the eyes black. You can still see the outlet and everything. You can see how even the eyes are. But that's because that's how the figure looked. But hopefully when I'm actually done with this. And I have a matte finish to seal it and everything. So paint rub doesn't happen that often. Hopefully it will look good. And hopefully it comes out better. I already ordered a cape. But that's probably not going to come until like two weeks. So this is going to be a good while project i mean i might put this on for for now you know like when i'm actually done painting everything i'll just put that on for now and say cape is going to arrive one day but yeah this is how far i'm i am with the custom you know as you can tell i was testing so many things that's why certain areas are actually painted and some areas like this were not meant to be painted but uh yeah this is my first time really, you know, painting a full figure, sculpting so much detail and all that. And, um, yeah. I think that's it for customs and kit mashes. I'm sorry for not being able to review something. I don't have anything to review as of right now. Um, I ordered another figure. I want to say it's the Mafex Wolverine. But I'm also not sure because it was really cheap. But it was also from the official Medicom. And I'm over here like, well, um, if I get a bootleg, I'm not going to be disappointed. Because that's what I'm expecting, you know. If you see a high-end figure going for less, it's most likely a bootleg. Even, they use the legit photos. And trust me, I have a bunch of bootlegs. <laughs> you know, some of them are really good. See, Carnage. Really good bootleg. Some of them are bad, but luckily I haven't really gotten a bad bootleg yet. Unless you want to count the Spider-Verse figures as bootlegs. These figures are god-awful. And I'm going to be honest, I don't understand why people like the Spider-Punk one so much. I felt like that one looks the worst. But, um, I mean, if you like it, congratulations. I don't own it, so I, don't, I shouldn't have an opinion on it. But visually, and I mean visually... It does not look good to me. So I'm personally not going to get it. Yeah, I got Miguel here. But that's mainly because I've been wanting a 2099 Spider-Man. And I got the worst one in existence. And you thought the fucking, um, what's it called? Old Spider-Man body mode was awful. But anyways, yeah. Sorry for not reviewing anything. I don't really have much review. You may point out these. But at the same time, I already pretty much reviewed them. I've reviewed the Vulcan body mode. Well, Vulcan himself. I, I mean, I could review him, but I already just did. He has pretty much just everything besides boot swivel and butterfly joints. I could review the Hogman over here, but he, he just comes with swords, gripping hands, and fists. 
what the f but um yeah i don't know what else to review i've already reviewed captain america i've pretty much reviewed all my figures i refuse to review some with like less accessories even though i already reviewed captain america but like still that figure had to have some spotlight hopefully i get done with this and then i'll review it i'll show you everything i've done with it I i'm trying man okay i'm trying for y'all i'm not giving up on this channel and the wrestling stuff i'm that might happen next month hopefully i'll ask my cousin if he's able to come to the city well not city but you know well yeah it's city this city because he lives in another city but you know family comes every now like you know family visits and everything but uh, yeah i'm trying to get the wrestling stuff handled i have so many ideas to do that involves me getting hurt the most but, um, yeah. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm sorry for not reviewing anything. Again, I know. I should. This is a reviewing channel. But for now, here's some customs and, like, kit bashes and fix-ups or whatever. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'll, hopefully, I'll have another figure and see y'all next time. But, till then, take care. Have a good day, night, everything. And, um... Uh, I'll see y'all next time. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. Peace.